This video will introduce you to the basics of scientific paper retraction and who is doing the most. Mainly, there are two types, one, due to honest errors by the authors, and the second one is retraction of paper due to misconduct involving fabrication, falsification, and plagiarism, which poses a significant challenge to the fabric of scientific integrity. According to a recently published scientific article, cumulatively, among the top eight partners in the retractions business, five are Muslim-majority nations. Saudi Arabia leads, followed by Pakistan, Russia, China, and three additional Muslim countries, Egypt, Malaysia, and Iran, adding a layer of complexity to the challenges facing the scientific community. India's placement at the eighth position underscores the global and diverse nature of this worrisome trend, necessitating the evaluation of factors contributing to retractions on an international scale. Among all the countries reported in the scientific paper, China decided to conduct the first nationwide review of retractions and research misconduct. According to an article published in February 12, 2024 issue of the Nature Journal a statement describing this action goes like this, universities must declare all their retractions and launch investigations into misconduct cases. A Nature analysis reveals that since 2021, there have been more than 17,000 retractions with Chinese co-authors. Looking at the paper retraction business chronologically, in 2023, a staggering number, 10,000 scientific papers were retracted, breaking all previous records. Science and scientific publications are the basis of all ongoing technological innovation and contribute to developing vaccines and human healthcare products. This unfortunate trend will shatter the public's trust in scientists, science, and their scholarly contributions. An alarming trend of scientific retractions underscores a pressing need to implement scrutinizing measures for protecting the integrity of scientific and scholarly knowledge in easily accessible public domains. According to the Committee on Publication Ethics COPE, scientific paper retraction is a mechanism for correcting the literature and alerting readers to articles that contain such seriously flawed or erroneous content or data that their findings and conclusions cannot be relied upon. In good faith, the objective of retraction is to ensure the integrity of scientific literature rather than to punish the authors. Now the question arises, why flawed scientific papers? So far, there are two major reasons, one, pressure on the researchers for their promotion and winning grants, better described as publish or perish. Two, availability of better detection systems than in the past, there could be several other reasons also yet to be discovered and described thoroughly. Two underlying causes of scientific retractions are, one, honest errors that could be in methodology, statistical analyses, data tabulation, etc. 2. FFP, fabrication, falsification, and plagiarism in reporting research results. Although the first one needs to be encouraged, and second one should be discouraged forcefully. Let us briefly talk about FFP in scientific papers retraction. The first one fabrication described completely false data, making results without any evaluations or experiments. The second one falsification is changing the data to make it look good for potential publications. Last, but not least harmful, the third one, plagiarism is appropriation of another person's ideas, processes, results, or words without giving appropriate credit. Sadly, retractions due to misconduct on the rise, as discussed earlier in this video. The good old days are gone when misconduct in scientific work could not even be imagined. Things have almost reversed. In 1982 to 2002, the percentage of honest error retraction in scientific papers was 61.8%, whereas in 2013 to 2016, it reversed 65% misconduct. The situation continues to deteriorate, that is quite worrisome. Scientists and researchers as truth and knowledge custodians must rigorously scrutinize their methodologies, data, and publications before submitting them to scientific journals. Here are a few websites for retraction monitoring and identifying plagiarism before submitting papers that your students and colleagues have prepared. There is an urgent need for scientific ethics and research integrity training of the scientific community across the globe. What needs to be done in the days ahead? 1. Honest errors retraction is beneficial for science, and it should be encouraged and not be the stigma for the authors or institutions. 2. Scientific misconduct with retraction should be taken seriously, 